Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about example on belt drive. Especially it is based on power transmitted and this will be the most IMP problem. So see carefully. Let's see first of all the description. Two pulleys. One 450 mm diameter and the other 200 mm diameter are on parallel shaft 1.95 meter apart and are connected by a cross belt. Consider this figure. Here it is written that it is connected by a cross belt. So you can imagine this type of the arrangement should be there. It is not required to draw in the examination, but it is simply to understand the given description. So again, two pulleys, one 450 mm diameter, here you can see and the other 200 mm diameter are on parallel shaft 1.95 meter apart that means x is given to you and are connected by a cross belt find the length of the belt required so this is actually the length of the belt that you should find and the angle of contact between the belt and each pulley so here you can understand this is actually the angle of contact between belt and each pulley what power can be transmitted by the belt that also you have to find when the larger pulley rotates at 200 rpm assume the maximum permissible tension in the belt is 1 kN take the coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley is 0.25 so write down the given data in symbolic notation first so here it is 450 mm diameter so you can say it is d1 and the other is 200 that means it is d2 parallel shaft 1.95 meter apart that means x and the length of the belt that means l is equal to question mark next what power can be transmitted that means p is equal to question mark when the larger pulley rotates at 200 revolution per minute so it will be n1 assume the maximum permissible tension in the belt is 1 kN so this is the maximum tension so you can say it is t1 take the coefficient of friction between the belt and pulley is 0.25 so it will be mu here I have taken maximum permissible tension as t1 because of there is no any description about the centrifugal tension. If centrifugal tension is given to you, then your maximum tension will be T max is equal to T1 plus Tc. You know that length of cross belt that is equal to this equation and that you should remember. Here you know that R1 is the radius of the larger pulley, R2 is the radius of the smaller pulley. X is the distance between the two pulley. Now you have the D1 and D2 so that you can find R1 and R2. So put it over here. So R1 is equal to D1 by 2. R2 is equal to D2 by 2. To X, X is the distance. Similarly, you can put it over here R1 and R2. Simplify this equation. So you will get the length of cross belt. You know that obviously length that is always in meter. So this is your first answer. Find the length of the belt required. So make a box. Now next we have the diameter and the RPM. So definitely you should apply the equation of the velocity of the belt. That is equal to pi dn upon 60. Here we have d1 and n1 that's why it is pi d1 n1 upon 60 so put it over here and simplify it so that you will get velocity of the belt that is 4.71 meter per second keep in mind here d1 that is in meter that's why it will be in meter per second now contact between the belt and each pulley means here you can see the contact angle from here to here and from this side the contact angle will be from here to here and 
you know that angle of contact for the cross belt that is always equal to 180 plus 2 alpha. So first you need to find the alpha. Again, to remember this equation for the alpha, especially for the cross belt drive. Alpha is equal to sine inverse R1 plus R2 by X. If it is an open belt, then it should be minus. So here you have the R1, R2 and X. So put it over here. Right. So that you will get alpha. That is always in degree. Now put this value over here. So 180 as it is plus 2 alpha. So that you will get theta that is actually contact angle in degree. Put into radian by multiplying pi by 180. So that you will get 3.48 radian. So this is your next answer. The angle of contact between the belt and each pulley. So this is 3.48 radian. This is the angle of contact. Or you can say 199.2 degree. But keep in mind, in case of cross belt drive, the theta that is the contact angle is exactly same on the smaller pulley as well as larger pulley. So make a now I can write over here. This is one of the answer. Next. Have the mu and theta. So definitely you should use this tension ratio equation. T1 upon T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta. Put it over here. Mu is 0 0.25 and theta is 3.48. Simplify it so that you will get tension ratio. Now again you have the T1. So put it over here as 1000 and that is equal to this one. Simplify it so that you will get T2. So now you have the T1, you have the T2 and you have the velocity. So definitely you can find now power that is P is equal to T1 minus T2 into V. So now put the value of T1 as 1000 Newton over here minus T2 that is 419 velocity that is 4.71. Now simplify it so that you will get P is equal to 2737 Watt. So that is your final answer. What power can be transmitted by the belt? So make a box. Now if you have any doubt, then you can write in the comment box. I will be back. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate.